Khalifi residents have raised concerns about the construction of Kenya's first nuclear power plant with Uyombo village as the preferred site. Now, the Nuclear Power and Energy Agency held a sensitization forum for the local community to demystify the fears. The five days of public participation brought together 13 opinion leaders from Uyombo village and experts from the U.S. and Argentina where nuclear power plants are operational. Well, Francis Mtalaki attended the workshop and brings us the story. The debate as to whether adoption of nuclear energy is the way to go continues. I want to start with my friend. The Nuclear Power and Energy Agency in Upea says the country is at a critical stage of implementing Vision 2030 project which require high energy. The projects include industrial parks across the country that require about 500 megawatts of energy. Resort cities like Dongokundu Special Economic Zone require about 100 megawatts to run efficiently. Within this Kilifi County, there are also several uh, resource cities that have been planned. And also Lamu, you know, there's a large project that requires about 700 megawatts. So these projects must be supported by a supply. And which better supply can do that other than you? Oyombo village is the preferred site. An initial 50 acres of land is required to kickstart the multi-billion shilling project. And then as we grow towards getting more energy and expanding the, the, expand, expanding the, the capacity of a nuclear power plant, we'll be able to get more parcels of land. So for the small modular reactor to start with, uh, 50 would be able to do in terms of the exclusionary zone for the construction of the nuclear power program. One of the greatest uh, uh, agenda that we have is to ensure uh, that we develop a proper um, local community engagement uh, strategy uh, driven by new pair into the local community. It is so important that all the questions are answered. Despite numerous attempts by the agency to demystify the proposed project, there are safety issues that residents have raised concerns about. We will not try to say now because we are focusing on this project after we are both, we should have say, accept. But uh, the first thing is so we are both should be separated from, uh, you know, the system and uh, what you are doing currently because uh, you must first understand what uh, environmental management and coordination act says. The gas explosion that happened recently at uh, Nairobi, uh, we saw uh, the government uh, took a lot of time to, co to contain the gas explosion. So how is the government ready to deal with that? The safety, safeguards and security. We know what that means to a nuclear power program. We know that in the event of any attack to a nuclear power program, it becomes a security issue. And therefore, you must be able to demonstrate that you have put everything in, 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 in place to assure the security of that nuclear power program. A nuclear power program becomes a protected area. It becomes like state house. The demand for housing would significantly improve. And uh, even the business environment within that community would definitely uh, be highly upgraded. There are 413 nuclear reactors worldwide, contributing about 10% of power, with the U.S. leading with 94 nuclear power reactors. Experts at the five-day public participation forum have urged Nupea to develop a community-based approach if the project is to succeed. Trust is ultimately what you're trying to achieve. And if there's that air of suspicion, I'm not getting the full story, do I know what's happening? You just really have to start with the end goal. Don't we all want the same thing for Kenya? Don't we want a strong economy? Don't we want growth and prosperity for our families? Don't we want a workforce that's knowledgeable? So if you can begin with those common goals in mind and work backwards to why various technologies, not just nuclear, but renewable technologies like solar and wind and hydro, how do they all fit together? Because everything has its advantages and its disadvantages, and you have to combine all of them in the way that's best for a particular country like Kenya. 
different countries in different regions of the world uh, view nuclear power as one of the solutions to their pressing problems. Again, be it climate change, be it uh, energy security, energy mix diversity, um, or, or, or sustainable development. In Africa, nuclear power plants are to be found only in South Africa, with Egypt currently constructing three power plants. Ghana, like Kenya, is in the process of venturing into the nuclear energy investment. There is this need to actually produce documents or information in various languages. There is the need to actually break down the technologies for understanding of the local people. And there is the need to also make sure that some of these informations are in formats that are very clear to them. And we do not want to leave any stone unturned. We actually want um, to ensure that anybody who is a stakeholder to this project has been engaged, has been informed, and has been given the right uh, to, to give their views. There has never been a project where you get 100% uh, support, but at least it would be great to have a majority support from the local community. Kenya has set a target of producing 870 gigawatts by 2050. Francis Mtlaki, Citizen TV, Kilifi County.